hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to validate email addresses uh, in other words we will be checking that if the email address is present inside the email box or not so let's suppose you have uh, gmail yahoo all these email providers so there is a special api which is available to us which is email address validation api so basically there is this input box here you can provide any email address that you want to check whether it is a valid email address or not if i write this email address click text email it will now tell you result is valid so this email address is valid so now if you write a invalid email address which is not present then it will tell you invalid the email address doesn't exist in the mailbox so that way you will be able to detect which email address is valid or not so whenever you receive any sort of email address you can input that email address here and then check whether it's a valid email address or not so it's a great service which is uh, you can see it's a valid so the name of it website is this is it a real email they also provide their api api is uh, slightly paid api so pricing you can just see here you get 100 requests per day if you create account here inside this website so you can use it with any programming language in this example i will be using python so basically you can also do bulk email address check as well just design your application like that you can see that so click on sign up and here you can need to sign up for a new account just sign up with your own id and then it will give you this uh, api key so here you need to first of all verify this so they have give you this confirmation mail so you need to verify it click on create account so once you create your account you need to just have your password click sign up and now basically you can set up your api integration so this is your api key so simply copy to clipboard and basically this will be different for you if you create your account so don't copy my api key and now just create a app.py file inside python so here we will first of all import the request module this is present inside python and then just create api key variable and paste your own api key and then basically we will have email address to check so here we will check this email address which is a valid email address after that we will make a request by this module request.get and the url will be pretty simple which will be https is it a real email slash api slash email and then slash validate this is the url and put a comma and then there you need to pass the api key so inside params you will pass your email in single quotes you will write email and then you will pass your email address comma after that we need to pass this api key as a header so here basically we will have headers here so inside this header we will have this authorization colon this will be bearer and then we will have api key that's it and now after making this request we will get the status we will have response dot json and then basically we will have the status property and basically here we will check that if status is equal to valid in that case we will simply say that email is valid and if it is invalid then we will say that email is invalid So you can see we have two conditions whether 
status is valid we will print out email is valid and if email is invalid then status will be invalid so now we can execute this python script python app.py so now you will see it will make this request so now basically it is written email is valid if i change this i can also take this as a input from the user so what we can do is that we can say that import system and uh, now we can simply take this as user so email input enter the email address so here we can replace this so now basically when you execute your script so basically it will ask a question to you that enter the email so i will enter my email address let's suppose i enter an invalid email address which doesn't exist so now basically it will say email is invalid so once again if i enter a valid email address so now you can see it will take some time so what to me So email is valid. So in this way, guys, you can make this email validation kind of an application using this API, which is Real Mail API. So this is a fantastic API if you want to detect whether an email exists or not inside mailbox. So please hit the like button, subscribe the channel, and I will be seeing you in the next video.